The emergence of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, has led to an unprecedented race to find a vaccine or vaccines. And today, in order to speed things up, the government has announced human challenge trials. Volunteers injected with the virus to see what level is needed to cause COVID-19 in order to rapidly test the vaccine candidates. The alternative is that you can conduct a traditional field trial and what happens in that trial is that people are vaccinated and then they're asked to live their normal lives, which means it's purely random luck whether those individuals become exposed to the virus or not. Conversely, what happens in challenge studies is everybody is exposed to the virus and you're not dependent at all on how much disease there is in the community. So therefore, you can guarantee you can get an answer because you are directly exposing them to the virus. And you need fewer people than the thousands a community trial requires. Coordinated by H. Vivo with Imperial College and the Royal Free in London, it is hoped the trials will start as early as January. Volunteers will be isolated for at least a fortnight in a room like this, monitored and compensated, although we don't know how much for. The idea of giving someone a live virus in order to test a vaccine is centuries old, but it has, of course, become much more high tech. So in this instance, samples have been collected from hospitals around the country, brought here to the Zayed Center, where it will be turned into the highest grade virus possible. This, in turn, will be made into droplets, which will be administered nasally. It will have to be approved by an ethics committee and a number of concerns will need to be addressed. The study um, developers will be looking at how this can be minimised by thinking about who you invite to be part of the study, so the inclusion criteria, who's least likely to, to suffer more severe disease or a bad reaction, um, thinking about all the very close monitoring that will need to go on um, to make sure that the disease is picked up early and well treated. Alistair Fraser Urquhart has already put his name forward. None of the vaccines that we have at the moment have been tested. They might all not work. Um, and we need to find as many effective vaccines as we possibly can. Um, because there's, there's vaccine candidates out there which would be so much easier. You know, there's vaccine candidates where you can do them by a nasal spray or, you know, don't require as intense refrigeration or all sorts of things. Um, and without challenge trials, we might never get to them. It is just 18 to 30 year olds with no risk factors who are being recruited and they mustn't have already had COVID-19.